Today I'm going to talk about uh, some work that I've been doing with a programmable paper cutter um, and how I've been creating these kinds of cards. I'm using a Cricut, uh, but Silhouette is another popular programmable uh, paper cutter and um, there's a lot of resources about, about those two machines. Uh, so I'm just going to go through the ways I've been making these cards. Um, I, I know that there's other ways to do similar things and probably some better ways, but I'll just show you my process. So uh, there's three different things I've been doing. And uh, one is I've been using Scratch or Snap to program designs. Um, and I'll also show you a couple ways I've used Tinkercad to create designs. So here in Scratch, I've got four different um, sets of code that I've used. So this uh, code uh, actually revealed uh, a cards like this with this cut. This code uh, created a flower-like design. This code, I actually haven't cut this yet, so that's next on my on my list. And then um, here's another example. Um, uh, this code produced this design and, and cards like this. So I'll work with this to show you my process. So what I do after I get a design and I, I uh, use black uh, color in, the, in either Snap or Scratch, I'm going to take a screenshot of the design and try and get all of it in there. And then I'm going to go to a tool uh, called OnlineConvert.com, which is a great tool for all kinds of converting all kinds of things. And I'm going to go, I want to convert an image. So I'm going to go to the image converter. And the target format I'm going to choose is SVG, which is Scalable Vector Graphic. So um, that's my target. Um, I'm going to choose, I find the interface here a little overwhelming, but once you get used to it, uh, it gets better. I'm going to choose a file, the screenshot I just took, which is right now a PNG file. I'm going to open that, and you'll see the file appears here now, and I'm going to scroll down to convert file, and it will automatically download um, the converted converted file. If you want to do another uh, convert another file, you'd go to this um, choice right here. Um, and then I've got my, now I've got it as an SVG. I'm going to go to my Cricut design space and you can see I've been experimenting with these designs. Um, but the process is I'll click on new project all right, so now I have a new pro, uh, project space. I'm going to go to Upload, and I want to upload an image. It do actually doesn't let me drag and drop, so I'm going to um, browse. And then here um, under Downloads, here's the screenshot, um, the SVG version of it. I'm going to load that. Um, looks good. Let's save that and then I'll select it and over here I'll click on the green insert image button and now in my design space I can work with it in terms of doing things like sizing it and duplicating it so if I want it to be let's say I know I want it to be about four inches um, I can size it here and um, stuff like that. It doesn't matter where it is on this space because that doesn't, that's the next screen will determine where on the on the cutter it actually cuts. Uh, here's an important tip though. Down in the far bottom corner is a, a feature called contour. So I'm going to click that and here um, it's, I'm telling it what, I can turn off the cut in, in any of these different, all these different things it's planning to cut. So I'm going to turn off the outer cut because if you think about it, if, if you left that on, it would cut the whole thing out of your paper and you couldn't make a card um, with that design. Um, so 
going to close that. Now you'll see that it looks a bit different. So if I, and I'll show you, uh, if I had left that, uh, if I had not done that contour turning off the outer cut, the cut would look like uh, the orange uh, cut here. And if I had left, and then if I leave it on, or if I do uh, select the contour, then it actually just cuts out uh, the green card cut. So here, let's say to, let's say I want to, I could uh, copy it. And again, I'm not going to care about uh, where I'm placing it because uh, on, on this design space and it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. But let's say I want to make two cards or I want two, two cuts in the same card. Uh, I could just copy it. And now uh, I uh, move on and I'm able to now position it. If my paper is eight and a half by 11, um, you know, I might want to, you know, I, I might want to position my, uh, you know, I might want to make two skinny cards like this. So now here is the cutting surface that's going to cut out these two shapes. Um, to do a design with Tinkercad, um, here's, a, here's a design that I've created um, just using regular old Tinkercad and the, and the, and the blocks um, feature. Uh, pretty, pretty straightforward, but I think it, you know, I, I like the idea of what this is going to do. I'm going to select all of my design and I'm going to use the little tree or cone tool to just sink it down a little bit because I want to make sure, unlike with 3D printing, I want to make sure everything is, is um, in contact with the work plane by sinking it below the work plane. You wouldn't want to do that if you're in a 3D print this, but it, it is, uh, uh, that's how you are gonna, we're going to export this. So I'm going to export, um, and it says for laser cutting, but it's a SVG, so that's going to work for our paper cutting. And I follow the same process as I did for the, the screenshot of the uh, uh, scratch design and then it um, results in a card like this one. Uh, here's another neat tool in Tinkercad. It's a new tool in beta called Co Code Blocks and click on that and I'm going to open, this is a design I did, I actually laser cut this as an earring but um, so if you haven't played with code blocks yet, it's it's really neat. Um, and I'm going to run this design. It is going to make a ring and then duplicate it and rotate it. And I can't, I don't think I can export this uh, easily from here to uh, as an SVG. So I'm going to export it not as one of these file types, but I'm going to make it a part. And I'm going to name the part rings. And now if I go back to um, Tinker, my, my regular Tinkercad, and let's say create new design. And now if I go to down to part collection, that's where that is uh, going to show up. And you, and you can see I've been practicing that a bit. And now if I drag my, my rings uh, design out as a part, uh, I, can, I can work with that. So I'm going to zoom in a bit and do the same thing where I'm going to just make sure that it's really in that uh, work plane. And now I can export that as an SVG and again load it into my Cricut and, uh, and, and paper cut that. And now I'll show how I uh, sort of process the uh, paper cuts. So here it's I'm taking it off the mat after being cut and I discovered a neat uh, device that's both a paper cutter and also a scorer. Um, and so in this photo I'm, I've just cut the uh, paper in half and I'm getting the right sizes and then I'm cutting the, uh, the, the backing that's also going to be the inside of the card and then in this photo I'm scoring um, the uh, both the, the backing or the, 
the inside piece and the outside piece that was paper cut. Um, you don't want to push too hard with this scoring knife, I found, because you can tear the paper um, if you're not careful. But they're little uh, grooves that guide you in your scoring. Um, and then you can um, uh, glue up your card, and there's different glue options. And uh, then I like to press the, uh, let it dry while it's being pressed. And those, those of you who are calculus teachers and get asked, you know, what will we ever use calculus for? Uh, now, now you know, so you're welcome. And, uh, and then, yeah, and then you've got your card and you're ready to go. Um, that's a look at the, my process here, and I, I hope uh, there was something that was helpful.